Hi everyone, it's Tiffany and I am back as promised today for my two week post-op uh, update after my surgery. So yesterday was officially two weeks since I had my surgery. I was not able to get on and basically just update yesterday because yesterday was also my first full day back to work and it was tough, definitely. It was, it was tough. Um, I did go back to work last week, Thursday, and then also on Saturday, but those were half days, so it was a little bit easier, and my boss actually did that just to kind of ease me back into it, which was amazing on her part because if I would have rushed back on Monday, like I was supposed to a week after my surgery, I would have been a hot mess because it, if you can definitely take as much time as you can um, before you rush back to work. Now, my job is, I'm a dental assistant, so all day long, I'm pretty much like hunched over in people's faces. And also, when we're not working on patients, we're doing like sterilization and cleaning rooms, which we're, you know, reaching and washing things and whatnot, sterilizing things. So it is like a physical thing where you're constantly moving. Well, I think it depends on what you do for a job that really can make the difference of how much time you need to kind of go back to work. Um, if I was sitting in a desk all day, I probably would have been okay. You know, get up, move around here and there. I would have been sore definitely. But yesterday, like I said, it was pretty tough. I could not wait to get home to take some pain medicine because by the end of the day, I was it was throbbing. It wasn't even sore, it was throbbing. Um, and I felt it like halfway through. So it's so much like the side here where my incisions are is the part that seems to hurt the most because it kind of feel like it pulls. And then I had mentioned in the first video that every now and then you get that like jolt of pain and they said that's normal and it can last for a while. I was only getting it on the right side but now I have been getting one on both sides. So I noticed that coming and going yesterday, especially while we were working on patients. I think it's just because I'm trying to get used to moving myself back and forth. But overall, I made it through the day. It was good. Uh, I was able to do everything that I normally would except for I can't be lifting heavy things for a month and I'm trying to be careful with reaching overhead, things like that. Um, just because you don't want to put too much stress on anything. So that's my update. Um, things are healing really well. I'm still pretty swollen. As I mentioned before, I will have pictures but I'm waiting until I get to my one month um, appointment to kind of do pictures. And I, um, I'm trying to think of what else I can mention as just kind of like an update. I have surgical glue. They didn't use sutures, they used surgical glue to hold everything together. A lot of that has now since come off. It kind of rips off in little pieces. Uh, you're not supposed to pick at it, obviously. You don't want to loosen anything, but for the most part, from what's come off, everything's healed underneath there, or it's at least closed up. So it looks red, a little bumpy, but for the most part, it's closed. So that's great. And I've just, just like I said, being very careful with um, making sure that I take good care of that area. I was able to change my bra, which was very exciting. So you can, at one week, you can wear a different bra than the one that they send you home in. And it just has to be something with no underwire. So sports bra is kind of what my go-to has been. So I've just been wearing this and it just, you know, I'm used to taking it off at night, so to have something on throughout the night, it's not such a much of a big pain in the butt, because you kind of get used to it at this point, but um, you can change the bra, which is nice, and sleeping is still kind of annoying, because I, you can't sleep, like, I'm a, I'm a stomach sleeper, so I can't sleep on my stomach, um, just kind of propping myself up again. And I have been taking Tylenol PM at night just to kind of help me sleep. And then also by the end of the day, it's pretty sore. So I've just been doing that. But overall, everything is going great and it's healing nicely. And the last thing I wanted to do before I get off is just kind of answer a couple questions. Because each time I update, I'll answer a couple questions of just things that in general people have been asking. So I'm reading from a little notebook here of my questions. 
So the first question was where and who did my surgery? So I had my surgery done in Doylestown, Pennsylvania by Scott Chapin who is in Chapin Aesthetics. They're on State Street, I believe, and I found him. That was another question is, how did I choose him? I chose him. I previously had inquired with another popular surgeon in the Philadelphia area. I had called them before, like long ago, and just kind of asked for some information. And they had given me briefly some information about what I was kind of asking, but I didn't pursue anything with them. I had went to my one of my family doctors and had mentioned to her that I wanted to possibly do this procedure and just by chance she asked me who I was going to go to. I had mentioned this popular office or doctor in Philadelphia and she said do not go to him. I have the name for you. I went to him. He did my work. He's amazing. Test him out. Look him up. I immediately came home because I trust her opinion so much and without even looking at his website I called the office I got the number I called the office and made a consultation because I trust her so much for her opinion one second my camera's gonna shut off all right sorry guys my camera actually just died so I had to change the battery really quick but as I was saying I called I called her off or I called his office made a consultation then I looked at the pictures and I was like, okay, this office looks really nice, just judged by the website. I will link the website down below in the description bar just in case you want to check it out. And I I was I was ready for my consultation. So then in that time frame, I actually was talking to a friend of mine. I didn't tell it too many people, just kind of my coworkers, since I was going to be taking time off work and family. But for the most part, only a few people, a few other people knew. I was talking to a friend of mine, and sure enough, never would have guessed she actually had work done and the same procedure that I was going to have done by this same doctor and had great results. So I was like, this is a done deal before I even met the guy. Went to his office, Frank came with me. Um, within five minutes of meeting him, I, I immediately felt comfortable with him. He answered all of my questions. He was great. He has awesome bedside manner. He's a wonderful surgeon, and that's basically how I chose him. It's just by recommendations from people that I trusted, a family doctor and a friend, and um, just seeing his before and after pictures, and then also how he interacted with Frank and I because I think that's important, especially working with doctors myself or dentists and seeing, you know, and, and the interaction between the patient and the dentist or the doctor. So that is how I chose him. And I'm so happy that I did because he's amazing. Um, how much time did I take off for work? Kind of touched on that. I took officially a week off. I used vacation for that. But then my doctor also had given me some extra time, which she's amazing because she knows me better than I know myself that she knew that I was going to need some extra time so they worked it out that I was able to be home a little bit longer and I'm very grateful for that because I definitely needed it so like I said take as much time as you can definitely take it easy and go light on your schedule especially depending on what kind of job that you're doing um, did insurance wind up covering it? I did not go into detail with this because I wanted to do, to do a separate video on this. Yes, insurance did cover this. Um, I will to go into this more in definite, like more into detail in another video that I'm planning on doing. Insurance did cover it. I was very, very happy that insurance did cover it. I had very little copays for everything, and my insurance is great. Uh, I do pay for it myself. Um, and it's actually, I'll have to go into more detail with that, but yes, insurance did cover it. I'm very grateful for that. I think I was planning on doing it without insurance covering it, but they wind up did, they did approve it. And like I said, I will go into further detail with that in another video. And the last question is for today. Do I notice a difference? Yes, I notice a difference. I, when I'm working at work, um, yes, I'm sore from just being back at work, but when I am leaning in over the chair in someone's face or someone's chest or whatever, 
I no longer have that obnoxious pulling that I always had back here. I feel lighter. I feel that when I'm walking, my posture is better. A coworker of mine had noticed, she said that she feels like my posture has definitely improved. When I'm sitting up, I feel like I'm sitting straight forward up because I don't have all that pressure or tension like pulling on my back that kind of hunches me back. It does, it feels different. It feels great. I feel like, I feel like I can do things a lot easier than what I could before, even though it's still healing. Um, yes, it feels great. It feels like once I'm all healed, it's, I'm going to feel amazing. Um, I feel better and better every single day. It gets a little bit easier. And yeah, I'm very excited with the results and how everything turned out and just overall how I feel and the difference that it makes and not feeling all that pressure and tightness in my neck and my shoulders at every single day with doing my job. So if it's something that you're considering, I would definitely recommend it, um, especially if it's something that you've been wanting for a long time, like I had wanted it forever, as long as I can remember, I would definitely at least go for a consultation and look into it because it's it it's hard. The first week is definitely hard to go through and pain and but it's it's already to the point where I'm like I am so glad that I did it two weeks in and I'm back to work and we had our Christmas party this past Saturday and I even danced and I mean I felt it the next morning for sure. I definitely hurt but I was able to dance and I looked really cute I think in my little dress that I had on and yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited. So I will update you guys again in the next week. So that would be three weeks post-op appointment. And I will keep you guys informed. If you have any questions, please let me know. Drop them down below and I will try to answer them. And then I will also write them down and answer them in my next video. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.